Good day. In this video, I will teach you the step-by-step -step coding of SCARA manipulator in mat in a robotics toolbox by Peter Cork for MATLAB Online. Okay. So let's start by uh, coding the display. So this is a, this is SCARA manipulator. So, our independent variables will be based on the number of link lengths of our mechanical manipulator. So, this is from A1 to A5. So, A1, A2, A3, A4, then A5. Next, uh, we have two joint variable theta. So, Tito theta 1, theta 2, and d3. Okay, so let's give a value for uh, a sub 1 or a1. So this, let's make it 3 meters. Then a2 is equals to 3 meters. a3 is equals to 3 meters. a4 is equals to 3 meters. And A5 is equals to 3 meters. For our joint variable, let's uh, leave theta 1 and theta 2 alone for now. So D3 is equals to, let's make it uh, 4. Okay, let's make it 4. So let's uh, go to the DH parameters. Let's use the DH parametric table. So let's uh, start from row 1. So uh, link 1 has joined as a revolute joint. So this is equals to link. Okay, semicolon. So, 0, comma, so this is revolute, so theta is 0. <coughs> then, T is A1. R is A2. And... Alpha is 0. So this is a uh, revolute. So our offset is 0. So after the offset is 0. Okay. Then the limit. So h0 underscore 1 dot q l i m is equals to. Okay. This is equals to, let's say, uh, so this is the base. So let's make it negative uh, pi over 2 or negative 90 degrees to 90 degrees. Next, h1 underscore 2 is equals to link. So open parenthesis, square parenthesis, semicolon. Okay, this is also joint a joint uh, a revolute joint so theta is equals to 0 uh, d is equals to a3 r is equals to a4 and alpha is equals to so this is uh, 180 so this is pi okay oh am i right 180 yes 180 pi over 180 times pi over 180. Okay, so this is a uh, pi. Okay, 180. Next, oh, sorry. So this is alpha. Next is uh, offset 0. Then after offset 0. Okay. So h1 underscore 2 dot 
Q L I M is equals to okay. So our second link where the second joint is located, this one. Okay. Uh, I it is I think it is fine. If we also use negative 90 degrees and 90 degrees, there will be no part uh, that will be uh, crushed okay, by the part of joint 2. So this will be also negative pi over 2 or negative 90 degrees, then pi over 2 or 90 degrees. Okay. So, last link, so h2 underscore 3 is equals to, I think I have a wrong spelling here, okay, link, close open parenthesis, so joint 3 or link, link 3, which has a joint 3, clear parenthesis, okay, so the theta is 0, D is A5, but this is a prismatic joint, so this is also 0. R is 0. Uh, alpha is 0. Offset A1. And uh, D is equals to A5. Okay. Then for our limit, so this is H2, 3. This, uh, sorry. That. Q L I M is equals to so our limit because this is a prismatic joint will start from zero up to D three so our D three is four okay after this let's compile it let's name our uh, variable for compilation Scala okay. Scara is equals to serial link. Let's open parenthesis, square parenthesis. Mm -hmm. So H1 to H2 to H3, then command name. Then the string scara. The plot scara dot plot. Okay. Let's so open parenthesis. Square parenthesis. So zero zero because uh, joint variable zero. Workspace. Square parenthesis, okay. So the height of our mechanical manipulator, okay, is consists of the value of a one and a three. So three plus three six. Then the the width is three plus also three plus three is equals to six. So let's uh, make this uh, x axis. Let's make it uh, nine. Okay. Or start. Let's start it from negative three, then positive nine. At y-axis, let's say nine, negative nine and positive nine. At uh, z-axis, let's start from zero up to okay. So the height is six. So tr up to positive eight. Then SCARA, so last part is SCARA, that, teach. Okay, so let's make sure we don't have a value at our com at our works uh, at our workspace. So clear all and CLC. Okay, so F five. Let's see what it look like. It looks like okay. Let's 
So it takes some time. But oh, we have an error. Error in line 26. We have an error at line 26. So what is the error? Serial links, Scara. Error in Scara sim, line 26, and recognize function. Oh, it's H1, sorry. It should be H01. Okay. And H1 is 2. Then 2 is called 3. Okay. Okay, F5. So let's see if we still have an error. Oh, it's not. There's no error. We have now the DX para parameter parametric table brought to you by Peter Cork. Okay. Robotic toolbox by Peter Cork. So this is the mechanical manipulator. Okay. Okay, it's cute. <laughs> it becomes cute. <laughs> it becomes cute. What happened? Okay, let's see. So let me test first the first joint. Okay, it becomes cute. Oh, it Yep, we can't see the we can't see the uh, frame the end effector frame so let's see let's add mm -hmm. okay. let's add the uh, 9 at x-axis okay Let's oh, sorry. Let's make x axis. Mm, so this is six plus six nine. So let's make it eleven. Okay. So negative eleven here. Negative eleven. And our let's change. Mm -hmm. I think the axis is fine. Or let's make a sub one. Uh, Higher, let's make it 4. Okay, so the axis should be, so this will be 4 plus 3, 7. It's fine. Okay, so let's close this. Then F5. Oh, oh you can still see the Z axis. Let's make... Uh, A3, 4. Okay. Well, D3 is 4. 7, 4 plus 4, 8. This, this is 3 plus 4. So let's see. Let's try. Okay. So, I think this is fine. Oh, it's very small. Let's increase the uh, z-axis. Let's make it 10. Let's put some uh, negatives, negative uh, value okay, for our z-axis. So CLC. So that we can see the okay it's I think this is already fine. Alright. Or let's make x axis twelve. Okay. Another. Let's make it perfect. Okay. CLC then F five. Okay. So I think this is fine. Let's uh, see if this is the correct manipulator. Let's look at the frame of the end effector. So x-axis should be to the right side. Y-axis should be at the front. Face uh, pointing at the front. Z-axis should point downward. 
for our base frame the right side should be positive okay the right side of this uh, cartesian coordinate system is positive y backward is positive z upward is positive okay so let's try okay it becomes a uh, very it becomes very okay i think this is fine okay so this is a uh, scara manipulator okay scara manipulator has the best structure among the five commonly used common configurations of mechanical manipulator okay if you want to make this uh, upside down if you will design this to be installed on a ceiling just make uh, a sub 1 negative and a sub 3 negative okay I think this will not work. <laughs> okay, let's see if this work. But I think this will not work because uh, the mechanical manipulator is not designed. It's not designed for uh, ceiling. Okay, not applicable for ceiling. So it will. Okay, it's not really good. <laughs> okay, it's not good. So let's see. Let's make this negative ten. The Z. And uh, let's make a five negative. Okay, let's make a five negative. Okay. So F five. Okay, this will how our mechanical manipulator look like. Okay, so it's not that uh, good because this mechanical manipulator is not uh, well designed for ceiling. So you need to redraw this to be uh, well designed for ceiling application. Okay, so let's uh, return it back. Yeah, negative A1 to A1, negative A3 to A3. The negative a5 to a5 and also wait, what's this uh the negative 10 to negative 3 okay so this is the uh, code for scara manipulator for robotics toolbox by peter cork for matlab online